Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so in this lesson, we are gonna learn how to make this pad. So this is from our sort of future base tutorial but let's get into it. So obviously this is the patch and you can just download the preset for free. It'd be in the description of the video, plus the wavetable that you need to be able to make it, or sorry, the audio sample that we use to actually make a wavetable out of. But obviously I'm gonna start from the initialized preset and we'll build it up from there. All right, so the first thing I want to do is change this to a multi-voice oscillator. Leaving it on 20% is absolutely fine. I'll just play that, obviously it's a bit Full on at the moment, so let's just add a filter to that as well. Just to calm it down a bit, I'm just going to re relax the resonance as well. Okay, so that's the sort of starting place, and um, we don't really need to change the dynamics for this at all. But what I will do is use envelope two to modulate the filter cutoff, slightly less depth to the modulation, and obviously we actually need to add some attack to this. So what I'm looking for here is as you see that dot moving along the line representing its position in time, we want that to sort of get to the top just as the notes are finishing. So if you're making this patch, it depends on the BPM of your track, how long the chords are, sort of how uh, much attack you want for this particular setting. It's a little bit too long. So something like that's absolutely fine, but I want to give this a slightly sort of non-linear feel. So let's just do that. So obviously it then starts off sort of gaining in momentum quicker and then slowing down as it progresses. So that's fine for the filter cutoff. Now we've got the sort of secret source almost to this sound, which is just adding another wavetable and then modulating that over time to give us a different sort of feel. So let's activate oscillator two. And I'm gonna drag in from my file explorer, though you won't be able to see this, it will be off screen, but I'm just dragging in the wave file called salt from the download that you've got with the preset in it. So I'm just gonna drag that over and I'm gonna drop this on the wavetable of oscillator two, but we want to drop this on vocode, not on wavetable, because it's not a proper wavetable yet. So just drop it on vocode. Uh, and there we go, let's just play that. Now obviously it's not really doing much at the moment because we need to modulate this. So I'll just play it. And so you can see what sort of a sound it makes. So let's use envelope three for that. I'm just gonna drop that on the frame amount. And then again, we want to add some attack to envelope three somewhere around there. Let's see what happens. So it's just not quite long enough there. Again, we want this sort of dot as it's traveling through time to reach close to the end or close to the top as the long notes finish. So somewhere around there is perfect, but we want to make this non-linear like we did before, but we'll have it the other way around. So we'll have it start off very slowly and then gain in momentum as it goes. So we'll only notice this addition towards the end of the notes. I'm just gonna turn down the master out a bit. So it's sounding pretty decent. Now, sorry, it's actually got reverb on, I beg your pardon, that's actually from the send effects. I'm just gonna turn that off and we'll actually add in some from Vital in a moment, but we are sounding pretty decent so far. So obviously we can hear where we're going with this. Now let's just go and add some effects. So let's just get some reverb on there. Let's turn up the time a bit, cause it's a nice sort of deep, luscious kind of pad evolving over time so we're gonna have it nice and deep sounding in the mix so that's sounding pretty all right already 
we could add some compression to it as well. Just to give it a bit of fizz, the preset or the stock sort of setting for the multiband compressor is actually quite nice at giving sound some air, so I quite like that. We'll just turn down the mix a bit because it's just a little bit too overpowering. And then we could add some movement like we've done in the Super Saw lesson. But in this case, I'm not going to. I want to keep this nice and simple because the way that it fits into the track, let me just play this whole section for you. So as you can hear, it sort of just sits in the background. It's a nice sort of evolving thing that just kind of keeps this kind of tension and release sort of cycle going for each two bars. But the one thing I don't want to do is make this too complicated. It's not a main element and it certainly doesn't need to have a constant sort of modulation going on it to make it sound different all the time. It's just used to sit there in the background of the mix. Left me So there we go, that's the pad and that was how it was made. Pretty simple sound, but just a nice use of a different wavetable and simple settings of modulation just make that all come together. So just a quick one, that track is actually from a tutorial, so you can learn how to make every single part of that track from start to finish, literally nothing right through to the final mix down and master. And you learn how to make all of the synth, bass and some of the effect sounds in Vital throughout the tutorial plus obviously how to make like future bass drums and get those vocals sounding massive. So thanks very much for watching guys and girls. I'll see you in the next one.